Hi, I'm Philip from Ivacy. Today I would like to show you how to convert an um, Access 2000 MDB file to the newer ACCDB file format of Access 2007 and later. And of course we want to convert a file that is currently managed under version control. So here I've got a database. It's a simple uh, test database containing only very few objects and it's in Access 2000 file format. Now the first thing I do is I make sure everything is checked in in my local database and then I close Access. Now I start the client for my source code control um, system. I will do it in this video with um, Microsoft Team Foundation server and using Team Explorer or Visual Studio. But it works all the same with any other source code control system. So um, I already browsed to the repository folder containing the project and um, I once again make sure everything is checked in. There are no pending changes from uh, myself or any other member of my team working on the same project. Then it is a good idea to apply a label to that repository folder and I'll just call that before conversion to ACC DB. Now the important part is to locate this file. The ACC2000 uh, is my application name, but the important thing is um, the .acb file extension. You should find that file in your repository folder, your database name .acb. There should be only one file with the ACB file extension. Now I rename this file to ACD and Team Foundation Server requires me to check in this rename operation. That's what I do. I just add a comment, rename to accdb and check this in. So now um, I make sure to get the latest version of this file and then I check out this file. Now I go to the local working folder and um, I've already got this open, that is the Ivacy temp folder. Now you see, um, first you should look if there is a your database name .mdb in this folder. Just delete this file. This is this is an artifact and uh, it should be deleted because we we going to rename the ACD file. Now um, I rename this ACD file to MDB. Yes, I confirm that. And now I just open this MDB file in Microsoft Access. And you might notice there are no objects in here except for tables. That is as expected and um, absolutely correct. Now I go to the File tab and to the Save and Publish tab. And I select Save Database As and select the Access Database ACCDB database type and hit the Save As button. And now I browse to the exact same folder where I was before and save this file in the ACCDB file format. Now I get a message that this database has been upgraded to the Access 2007 file format. That is exactly what we are going to do here. I confirm and I can close access now. Now you see we've got the original MDB file here. I once again delete this file to avoid confusion and we got the newer ACCDB file. And now I'm going to rename this file to ACD. 
I confirm the rename. And now I switch back to Source Control Explorer and I check in this file. And this file is converted to ACC DB file format. I confirm that and check in. The next step is you should look in the repository folder if there is a file named your database.acx. Um, if this is the case, then you should check out this file as well. Once again, go to the Explorer, the Windows Explorer, and open this file with any text editor. Find the DB version to create tag. It's just an XML file. And you should change this to SCC file format access 2010. Now we save this file and once again, go back to Source Control Explorer and check in our changes. I say changed file format tag and check in this file. So the basic conversion is done already, but we should go back to the um, working folder in Windows Explorer, move up one level, and now delete the old MDB file and the IVC temp folders. Now there's only the IVC config file left, and now I do rename that to IVC config XML back. Now I start Microsoft Access, navigate to the IVC tab and say create from source code control provider. And I browse my TFS repository to the same project I had before. And the local path will already be the path I used before on disk. So I just hit OK to create this um, project on disk it asks me to create the local working folder. Now um, this is this is a bug that happens sometimes. I just can ignore that the uh, files are in edit mode and can close the database. Now you see there is um, the IVC config XML that was newly created. And if I got any specific settings for that project in the old IVC config file, then I will now delete the newly created config and just rename the old backup file back to IVC config XML. And now I can just start the database. And you see everything is under version control again and if you look at the database file format it is access 2007 to uh, 2010. Now we we are finished and we converted our database to the newer file format and the history of the project is completely intact. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and bye bye.